Following the consultation, Dr. Bonasusi and I talk quickly to decide if we think that the patient seems like they might be a good candidate for the surgery. So Dr. Bonasusi, let's do our debrief. How did your consultation go with Courtney and what do you think of her as a candidate for surgery? I think that went well. Courtney uh, asked appropriate questions and seems very well informed. What she's asking me to do is achievable and I think actually makes sense. I think these changes really do look good. So I think she's an excellent candidate for rhinoplasty and chin augmentation. Not only is she going to get a very nice result, I think she's the type of person that's going to be very happy. Then I meet with the patient to sort of describe what the recovery period might be like for them so that they can start to think about planning time off work or school. What I usually do is after the consultation, I spend a bit of time with the patient and I try to give them some more information about what to expect from the recovery period. In terms of what to expect from our aftercare plan, so the first visit we're gonna have with you is at the one week post-surgery mark. On that day, you're gonna to come to our office. You're still gonna have a cast on your nose and on your chin, and Dr. Manassisi will remove that for you. Now, this is usually very exciting because it's the first chance for you to see how your nose and your chin look. You are going to be bruised and swollen, but you will be able to get a good sense for what your results are gonna be like. This should be a really fun appointment for you. So after your one week follow-up visit, we do like to have you back a few times as well, and it's really, again, just to keep in touch and see how you're doing. We also wanna make sure that you have all, all of your questions answered at any point during the recovery period. What's the worst part about the recovery? Patients describe the worst part of the recovery from rhinoplasty to be a blocked feeling in the nose. Totally normal and this is because of the swelling. So in that first week I really need you to avoid the urge to blow your nose. The other thing to consider about the recovery period is that you do need to take it easy especially in the first week. You're going to be feeling fine. You're going to be able to make yourself dinner, go grocery shopping, do light activities, and that's perfectly okay. But you do have to avoid any heavy lifting or rigorous exercise for two weeks. I really wanted the results to be natural. You know, I don't want it to look like I've had surgery done. I just want it to look way more balanced and uh, really look natural and proportionate to my face. I really liked uh, Dr. Bonacici. I think he was able to answer my questions and really uh, give me a realistic sense of what's gonna, what I'm gonna look like. I found it really comforting that not only was he an ears, nose, and throat doctor, but he also specializes in facial plastic surgery. That makes me feel really comfortable with my decision. So the consultation went really well. Courtney's surgery is scheduled and we can't wait to have her back in a few weeks to see her results. I'm very excited. I can't wait to see the results. Um, I'm really excited to see what I'm going to look like afterwards.